You know how Moon Knight's whole idea is like, I wear white at night so people can see me coming? Yeah. I wear orange so you know exactly what you're going to have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't make a how-to conqueror immediately, because that would have been outdated pretty quickly. In case you missed it, with the release of Year 6 Season 2, Conqueror has evolved from a wall into a goddamn tank. Just as impenetrable, but also stupid powerful. Just like today's sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is the browser for gamers because it honestly makes anything web-related so much easier while gaming. It's helped me record many of my how-to videos on the other heroes because I'm frequently alt-tabbing to the info hub to double-check max punishes and other data, and I can limit how much power the browser is using so it doesn't affect my recordings. I often record these videos with the help of my friends, and it's really useful that social media channels like Discord are integrated right into the sidebar, so I don't have to have multiple windows open or programs running. But if you'd rather listen to music than be on comms with your friends, Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music are also built right in. And if you ever wanted to follow along with my how-to videos while playing the game, you can pop videos out with the picture-in-picture -picture mode so you have both the game and the video on screen at the same time. You can also get Opera GX on your phone. Like the web browser, the mobile app also gets you access to the GX corner, so you can stay up to date on the latest releases, deals, and free games, and you can connect the app to your PC to send yourself messages or links so you can pick up right where you left off while on the go. You can download Opera GX for free by clicking the link in my pinned comment or in the description. Thank you to Opera GX for supporting the channel, and enjoy the video. When updating Conk, the devs really said, Oops! All unblockables! Cause now a majority of their moveset is orange. Now punch through is essentially useless on Conqueror because... Yeah. 90% of his moves are orange! No one's gonna, literally no there's use no to moves it. to block! The only nine orange attacks are Conqueror's zone, light attack, chain lights, and neutral heavy. But even then, you can quickly charge neutral heavies to become unblockable. Downside, you can't block while doing this. You can use any of these moves to get into Conk's infinite attack chains, during which you can honestly button mash and still throw out moves. You can throw light attacks to give your opponent a brief reprieve from orange, but be careful when throwing a light attack in the same direction as your last move, as it'll rival the speed of an out of stamina attack. Stupidly satisfying when it lands. Not so much when it's parried. Conqueror's chain heavies are now all unblockable, meaning opposing players will have to either learn to parry or enjoy looking at a death screen. Like before, Conqueror can still cancel any heavies into full block and has now learned to faint normally like the rest of the cast. Pressing guard break during a chain smashes Conk's shield into your opponent. This chain bash can be fainted the same way as your heavies because Conqueror remains are simple creatures and Yubi didn't want to overcomplicate things. These changes give Conk much better pressure in chains as opponents are constantly forced to make decisions. With these better options for offense, we'll see Conks use more than just the dash forward shield bash guard break mix up, right? Right? Probably not. Conqueror has a large window on forward dashes to perform a shield bash, and many players use this as a mind game to see how dodge happy opponents are. You can also shield bash defensively after dodging to the side. Speaking of dodges, Conqueror also has superior block on dodges, a fancy word for most attacks bounce off of this. This shield isn't just for breaking bones though, moving your guard down hides behind it. While in full block you'll block attacks from all directions and slowly regain stamina, but can't counter guard break. After any shield bash or superior block from dodge or full block, Conqueror can follow up with a light for a cool 360 degree attack that's great for anti-ganking or interrupting your teammates with, or heavy for a single target attack that can execute. Both moves deal 13 damage, can be followed up with a chain light or heavy, but not a bash. As zones and some other attacks push through superior block, I'm working on a video showcasing who can actually counter these attacks in certain circumstances. Speaking of countering attacks in certain circumstances, Conqueror can't just cancel moves into full block, but also block and attack recoveries. This includes bashes, giving them the power to counter an opponent's counter if they make a correct read. If Conqueror all guards, they counter a dodge attack but would lose to a guard break, and if Conk thinks they'll GB, they just don't go full block but would lose to a dodge attack. This means players on both sides need to make a second read. Thankfully, with the latest nerf, the devs fixed an issue that made Conk's bashes almost unpunishable. Turns out if you have mad reaction skills, you could just exit full block and counter guard break so you're safe from both threats. Now, full block is automatically held for a minimum duration of 200 milliseconds, so this quick exit isn't possible anymore. Dodge bashes always win though, making Conqueror a great counter to Conqueror. Conqueror's moveset is an endless onslaught of orange. Being able to use and feint orange attacks offensively and then flow right back into them defensively means if your opponent didn't have Sandarachnophobia before, they do now. 
Some of Conk's options like Superior Block on Dodge and Scudage Collection will find more use in 4s, and despite strong external pressure and anti-ganking potential with a million unblockables, I don't actually think Conk is particularly strong in 4s with lackluster feats and now nerfed chain damage. That doesn't mean Conk gangbangs aren't effective or annoying, I just think there's other heroes that are better picks. Oh shit, I totally forgot about Conk's sprinting attack. Okay, so sprinting, press guard break, you knock someone down. It doesn't guarantee any follow-up from you, but allies can definitely get some damage in. As for Conqueror's max punishes, on heavy parries your strongest option is a zone attack. You can shield bash into flail uppercut for less damage, but this can also execute or instantly kill your opponent. Light parries simply net Conqueror a top heavy. Guard breaks get Conqueror a side heavy, and wall splats are a little bit tricky. When you're right up against the wall and throwing forward, move your guard to the top during the guard break and you'll always get a top heavy. Otherwise, if your opponent's guard is on top and yours isn't, you'll only get a side heavy. Side and back throws up against the wall seem to always give a top heavy no matter what. If you're further away from the wall, even throwing forward, you can get a same side charged heavy. On knockdown parries, you get the most damage out of a light and neutral top heavy. On forward throws, you can zone into neutral side heavy. And on back throws, you can same side heavy into chain heavy. Obviously, if your guard is on top when you throw, it means you're going to do more damage. Side throws get you the most damage overall, with either a side heavy and neutral top heavy, or top heavy and neutral side heavy. Just start with whatever side your guard is facing, then swap to the other. As long as you follow up with a chain attack, all these punishes are safe from GB on Wake Up. These punishes change slightly in force if you have the tier 2 feat Shield Basher unlocked. Shield Basher adds 6 damage to any bash or throw, meaning on heavy parries, Flail Uppercut deals 19 damage, and on guard breaks you can side throw and bash into Flail Uppercut for 25 damage total. I'm not gonna lie, before the rework, I didn't put a single level into Conqueror, so I can only personally show off the Annoying Orange, and I'll have to resort to the 4 Fashion website. In the lore, Conquerors are conscripted criminals, and that comes across really well in their fashion, whether they look like bandits ready to steal my money, or a supervillain. The perks Conqueror can get from their gear are Remedy, Bastion, Feline Agility, Vengeful Barrier, Last Stand, Bulk Up, and Rising Dawn. If I could, I'd run Bastion, Vengeful Barrier, and Bulk Up, like I do on BP. It just makes holding Dawn points a little bit easier. In the 4v4 modes, Conk can use the following feats. In Tier 1, there is Speed Revive, Conqueror, and Body Count. Speed Revive does exactly what you think it does. Conqueror captures zones faster and makes boosts you pick up in Deathmatch or Breach last longer. Body count rewards you with a crumb of health and stamina per minion killed. Not enough to keep you there indefinitely, but a bit longer for sure. Tier 2 has Juggernaut, Shield Basher, and Fiat Lux. Juggernaut is a 10 second enemy repellent. You take half damage and are uninterruptible, great in an anti-gank or stalling on a zone, but you're restricted to only edge walking. In its current state, Shield Basher adds 6 damage to any Shield Bash or throw. Fiat Lux is a medieval flash grenade that blinds everyone in the blast and removes their stamina, allies included. In Tier 3, Conqueror can use Punch Through, Pungo Mortis, and Heal on Block. There's still no moves to, to block! Pungo Mortis throws a small grenade that is great for stopping an execution or revive from a distance, or blowing a hole in the minion lane. Heal on Block regenerates 4 health per blocked attack, basically reducing or negating chip damage. Finally, in Tier 4, there's Uninterruptible, Regenerate, and Catapult. Uninterruptible turns you into a mini boss with 30 seconds of hyper armor. Regenerate lets you heal while out of combat and not sprinting, and it stacks while you're in a healing zone. Catapult is a shell of its former self, and calls down a very easy to avoid projectile that deals more damage the closer someone is to the center. It's great against the ram and breach though. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie, Conqueror's feats are pretty underwhelming. I personally use Body Count, Shield Basher, Pungo Mortis, and Uninterruptible. Body Count helps you be a slightly more effective fighter in the minion lane, and Shield Basher is a must since I'm playing Conqueror, and therefore I must Shield Bash. With everything going the way of Orange, Heal on Block is slowly becoming less useful because it doesn't heal on parries, and tossing a grenade in the minion lane still works with Body Count. Regenerate is definitely more useful than Uninterruptible, but I like being able to throw out attacks without thinking. There's a reason many have described this as the season of Conk and Ball Torture. 
all orange all the time is Conk's mantra, and players need to always be on their toes when facing a Conqueror. Their moveset is simple to understand and works stupid well offensively and defensively. If your favorite color is orange, play Conqueror. Thank you guys so much for watching. After the rework and two weeks in a row with nerfs and adjustments, I hope Conquer isn't getting changed again, but I think all of the necessary adjustments have now been made. If you think Conk is gonna get more tweaks, let me know down in the comments below. I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters, especially Shadow and the Rookie VA. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video.